I just feel that the church has still got a long way to go in terms of translating the gospel into being the voice for the voiceless. Um, it's a poor country, it shouldn't be a poor country because we, uh, we mine minerals, but it's a poor country. It's, it's, it's sort of taken too long to develop in my view, but it's coming up. So lots of work to do, to do I think, for the church. Um, and our church is focusing on leadership development very much so through GLS and through the Bible College to really help people uh, self-manage because I think if people can self-manage then they can create and, and do things for themselves which would contribute to the economy rather than think that the government is going to resolve all their problems but, but also I think the church, the church rethinking how it can be a partner to the government. I have a dream and uh, hopefully one day it will, and I, I, I think coming here has enabled me to realize that God can give you something small but he grows it and I think when Bill started Willow he never dreamed that one day there will be 112 countries coming here. So I think it's, it's good to start where you feel and I really feel that if we can teach people to love their environment, love where they live, then I think you can start talking to them about leadership and talk to them about other things. So I think um, I was just saying to somebody this year I'm going to try and plant at least 20 trees on my street as a start 